I'm Don Nelson. Here are your top headlines. Three men, all refugees from Tanzania, pleaded guilty in connection with a gang rape case in CUNA as part of a plea deal. They were originally arrested for felony rape and faced up to life in prison. But as a result of today's agreement, they pled guilty to misdemeanor battery and false imprisonment charges. Prosecutors say back in February, one of the men agreed to meet the victim at a restaurant in CUNA. But when she arrived, all of the defendants were there. Investigators say that's when they sexually assaulted the victim. Prosecutors admit there were, quote, missteps in the case that later prompted a judge to exclude key evidence. There were also issues with the victim regarding consent. She was raising me because she felt that she did not have a choice when it came to intimacy with these three men as well as the other co-defendants. She has a skewed perception of her body and of her self-worth, and she's going to need to work on that. The fourth defendant, a 17-year-old who was also charged in the rape, was remanded to juvenile court. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Hello, everybody. It is a mild evening with temperatures around 70 degrees, 74 in Ontario at 5 o'clock on Friday. Cooler in the mountains, 50 to 60, but this is nothing like what it's going to be over the next few days as a big cool down is coming in thanks to a major storm system to the north. Just a few clouds for the evening drifting on through. All this color on the map are watches, warnings, and advisories. Big circulation with this storm system here is going to dive to the south, and then it will slide up to the north and to the east. And by Tuesday, it will be out of the picture. So it'll take a little while for this, but to starting tomorrow, the cool air will come rushing in and our temperatures just won't rise during the day. And in the mountains, this will be a significant storm when a storm warnings for Idaho County, especially northern Idaho County, six to 11 inches of snow for the higher elevations with that winter storm warning in effect all the way until Sunday between 5 p.m. tomorrow and Sunday as well. Winter weather advisor, this is Stanley Sun Valley area, uh, maybe a couple inches in Stanley and Sun Valley proper here over the next couple of days with the higher elevations up the top of uh, Baldy, possibly significantly more, but probably going to be further north and east of Baldy, more of the higher peaks to the east, four to nine inches, and northeast Oregon through the blues, three to eight inches above 3,500 feet. It's September, and we're getting all this snow, but look at the valley, a big hole in the precipitation totals. You don't see much in the way of the totals in McCall, but you go to the east, that's where it will be much more. An inch of moisture possible in the Pocatello area. So the forecast, we're talking about all the snow coming in, two to three feet up near Glacier National Park and the higher peaks. And in central Idaho, not a lot's going to happen in the Treasure Valley except for cooler temperatures. A 30% chance of maybe a shower coming in. This is normally showing measurable rainfall, just a chance for a shower. Here's the key, in the 50s, that's it. Right through the weekend, we drop to the 30s on Sunday morning and Monday morning. So you will notice a much colder air mass coming in and then frost next week. That's your update, another update coming in later this evening.